So, let's say a child grabs a water hose, it has a radius of one centimeter, he turns the water on, and it travels through the hose with a velocity of 3.4 meters per second. Then he covers the opening a little bit with his thumb, and it creates an effective radius for the water to travel through of just 0.5 centimeters. So he's covering half of it. And then he points it at his sister. So what is the speed of the water as it exits the hose past his thumb? This is just looking at the continuity equation of flow. I know the speed of the water inside the main hose with a certain cross-sectional area. Again, for a hose that's kind of like a cylinder, it has a cross-sectional area of just a circle. So if I know the radius of the hose, then I can figure out the cross-sectional area of it. Again, the continuity equation is just A1V1 equals A2V2, where A is area and V is velocity. So now, I just got to plug in what I know. Again, since the cross-sectional of a cylinder is a circle, the area is pi r squared, notice that I changed my radii to meters, away from centimeters. So it's pi times 0.01 squared times 3.4 meters per second will equal pi times 0.005 squared times v2. Now all I got to do is solve for v2. Actually, pi cancels again. Beautiful. Now all I got to do is solve for v2 algebraically. And it comes out to 13.6 meters per second. Nice. So simply by just covering up half of the hose, he's changed the velocity from only 3.4 meters per second to 13.6 meters per second. And that's how powerful the continuity equation can be.